Here at Great Plains Nursery, we have a focus on natives. That includes trees, shrubs, perennials, and grasses. With our tree production, we focus on root production, so that includes the root maker system. Well, what happens with the bag system is as the tree, as the tree roots grow, they get trapped in the side of the bags. And so with that, you get trapping, and so then you get root branching backwards. So ultimately, what you get out of this bag is about 100% of tree roots, of um, a nice fibrous system, free of circling roots, free of J-hooks. When you harvest the tree, you're not losing any of the tree roots. You have 100% of that tree roots. And so when you go and plant that in the landscape, you're, the tree just takes off. This results in a root system that has a greater surface area than conventional production and therefore achieves a greater efficiency in the absorption of water and nutrients. So what you'll see is an increase in growth rate, establishment, transplant survivability, and ultimately a superior performance in the landscape. Well, what, what happens with container production um, is all good and fine if, if it's done correctly and if, if it's done on a timely manner. Uh, what happens with, with container production is the tree roots grow out and they hit the side of that smooth sided container. And so then they start wrapping and they start circling around that ball. So what happens is that those roots just keep circling on each other. So when, then when it's, gone, when it's planted in the landscape, you get girdling roots that will girdle that tree stem and you might not see um, failure immediately. It might take 10 to 15 years and you'll start seeing dieback because it's girdling the stem, those roots. Um, if it's done correctly in a container, it works and you can pull it out of the container. You can loosen those roots up as long as they're not woody, they're nice and fibrous then you can spread the roots out and you can plant it and have a successful tree. With a bag, there's no circling it whatsoever. It's just, um, it's, it's all just fibrous roots because they grow out, they hit the side of the bag and they get trapped and that forces them to branch backwards. And so then you just get more fibrous root system. Well, another benefit of using grow bags is you, is you can still get about an inch to an inch and a half caliper tree, which is very manageable. Um, even I pick them up, I can haul them by myself, I can plant them. You always, always want to take the bag off when planting. What's more of the benefits on the economical side of it is you have a lower cost tree. You don't need um, a big group of people or a, you know, a small group of people to plant this tree. And you can haul it yourself, you can fit it in your vehicle, and you're still getting this great tree. And by going with the bag system, you can get a one inch caliper tree or a six to seven foot tree. And if you compare that to like a three inch caliper tree, if it was perhaps ball and burlap, your one inch tree is gonna take off and outgrow that three inch tree. So there's a lot of benefits to had on the economical side for even for shipping, um, for you know hauling them back and forth and for the homeowner just for planting and ease of care. But you're gonna see faster growth rate on it. It's gonna take off. You're not gonna have transplant shock. That same year that you plant, you're possibly gonna see growth on it. Whereas other trees grown in conventional methods, you might see um, maybe one to even two years of just, of it stalling, of it just trying to get positioned and, and growing its new roots and getting a feel for it where this has already got all those root tips in there and it just keeps going.